Hello Archery Talk, this is Lucas and I have got the second bow for our 2018 hunting bow project. It is an APA Mamba 34. This is my first time playing with an APA bow. I'm pretty excited. They're a Canadian manufacturer. I'm a Canadian guy, so I've never shot a bow from uh, my home country before. So uh, let's open it up. I've technically done an unboxing video of this already. We had a technical difficulty, so uh, bear with us. We'll pretend that we haven't done that so you can see what I see when I pull the bug. So the first thing is in the box is a nice APA hat, soft mesh background, camel front. We'll put that to the side. And the next, I'll pull up the bow. Now, of course, when I got this, it was wrapped in plastic and the cams were protected with bubble wrap and everything you'd expect when you're getting a bow shipped to you. Um, as you can see right off the bat, the APA is a unique looking bow. It's got some features I have not seen on other bows. It's got a built-in bow hanger, which is kind of a very, it stands out, looks like a saber-toothed tiger fangs, but it's a good little hanger for a branch in a tree stand or something like that. Um, it's also got a couple other little features that I've never seen before. It's got a broadhead wrench right there, uh, a broadhead sharpener, a knife sharpener, a carbide sharpener right there. Um, it's got a cam lock pin, uh, which I believe is there, and you can take that out, and if you draw your bow, you have a friend slide it in through the cam, so then you can work on your bow without a press, um, which is kind of pretty cool. You can change your strings, um, you can throw in a peep, whatever you want. A uh, bunch of cool features I thought of like that. They also included this little uh, handle on the outside, so it's a little easier to carry your bow into the woods. Pretty unique. Uh, also unique to APA, I believe, is this uh, this camo material is very soft to the touch. Um, it feels almost rubbery. It's kind of neat. Um, I'm curious how it's going to stand up over time. You know, your hunting bows tend to not get treated so nice by everybody. But we'll see how it goes. I think it'll work out fine, and I'm excited to try it out. APA sent us this bow with uh, its twister rest and a peep already installed on here. Um, so I've not shot this before. I'm going to weigh it right now. Uh, people have been asking me what the bows weigh bare. This isn't exactly a bare bow because it's got the rest on it and it's got the peep on it already. But I'm going to hook up my last chance archery scale and we'll put that on there. And that is coming in. I'll try it again. At four, okay. At 4.25 pounds. It's a remarkably light bow considering it's already got a rest on it. And APA has says, says they have tested this bow at 70 pounds, a 29 and a half inch draw length, and a 350 grain arrow, and say they're getting 340 feet a second as tested. So I, I'll, I will bring that to my range with a, with a chrono later on. I probably won't test it with a 350 grain arrow, but something in around 400 or so, and we'll see how it goes. So uh, stay tuned to Archery Talk for lots of videos with the APA Mamba 34 and the rest of our hunting lineup. Uh, and stay tuned for the end of the year. We'll have a big shootout with all the bows once we got them all in. Thanks so much.